Hi, I'm Jacob. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Enjoy the video. Doc McStuffins. A very McStuffins Christmas. It's Christmas Eve at the McStuffins house. The presents are wrapped. The cookies are baked. The tree is covered with bright lights and shiny ornaments. Everything's ready for another perfect McStuffins Christmas. You know, Santa can't come until everyone's asleep, Mom says. Doc and Donnie race off to their rooms and jump into their beds. Night, Bugaboo, Mom says as she kisses Doc on the forehead. As soon as Mom closes the bedroom door, Doc holds up her stethoscope and all her toys come to life. The toys are just as excited about Christmas as Doc and Donnie are, but they know Doc needs to get to sleep. As soon as Doc's eyes are closed, the toys get to work. Operation Doc Present is underway, whispers Hallie, jumping out of bed. Just don't wake Doc. Lammy carefully picks up Doc's present. It's a homemade ornament with pictures of all Doc's toys. Now they just have to get it on the tree in time for Christmas morning. Shh, Hallie tells Lammy and Stuffy as they tiptoe through the hallway. You two are louder than fireworks at a football game. But that's not us, Lammy tells Hallie. It's that elf under the tree. Oh, jingle bells and candy canes, wails the elf. Now I've been seen, too. This night cannot get any worse. Tobias the elf introduces himself and tells the toys why he's sad. It's been a busy year, so Santa has a team of elves to help him. But I dropped this present and the toy inside broke, Tobias explains. If Santa finds out, I'm worried he won't let me help anymore. The toys all smile. They know Tobias came down the chimney of the best toy fixer-upper there is. They just have to wake her up. Doc heads downstairs to meet Tobias. Oh, no, she gasps when she sees the broken toy. That's Commander Crush, the toy Donnie is waiting for. I know, Tobias says. He's written Santa at least three letters, and I've watched him do so many kind things. Tobias, don't give up so easily, Doc says. I just need to give the commander a checkup. Doc grabs her doctor's bag. She checks the commander's ears and eyes. She listens to his heartbeat. She looks at his back. This part is broken, Doc explains. It can't be fixed. You need a brand new one. Luckily, Tobias knows where they can find a replacement part. You'll have to come with me to the North Pole, he whispers. And with a little sprinkle of elfin magic, Doc, Tobias, and all the toys are transported to Santa's workshop. That's where I was built, Commander Crush tells them. What's your plan, Private Tobias? The toy building room, Tobias replies. If we can get in there, we should be able to find all your replacement parts. Tobias leads everyone in the back way so Santa won't see them. There are train tracks and springy springs and slippy slides in the toy building room, but there aren't any space bot parts. They head to the next room where they see a space bot. I have a great kid waiting for me, Commander Crush tells the space bot. This fine doctor here is prepared to fix me, but we can't find the parts. Toys like us get put together in our own room, the space bot tells him. Great, Doc cheers. Let's find your broken part, and then I can fix you. Finally, they make it to the space bot room. Doc looks in all the bins. Extra legs, extra wings, back joints, she says. Then Doc finds just what she needs, a bin full of extra gears. Okay, are you ready for maintenance? 
Doc asks Commander Crush. Affirmative, he replies. Doc gets to work and puts the new part in place. Commander Crush spreads his wings and transforms into a spaceship. I did it! I did it! he cries. No, wait! You did it! Thank you, Doc! Tobias starts to cry again. But this time, he's crying happy tears. All I ever wanted was to make kids happy on Christmas, he says. Ho, 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 booms a voice behind Tobias. It's Santa Claus! Oh, Santa, I'm so sorry I broke Donnie's toy, says Tobias. I've been watching you, Santa says. You did everything you could to make sure Donnie has a perfect Christmas. You're just the kind of elf I need. To Tobias's surprise, Santa promotes him to the Jingle Bells, a group of the best and most important elves in the North Pole. Then Santa takes a look at Commander Crush's back. Who fixed you? Santa wonders. I did, Doc says. I'm Doc McStuffins. Ho, ho, ho! Of course you are, Santa laughs. I've been following your career for a long time. I've never seen a kid love and take care of her toys the way you do. You have a job at the North Pole if you ever want one. Doc appreciates Santa's offer, but she wouldn't trade her family or her toys for anything. Well, we'd better hop in my sleigh. It's almost morning, says Santa. Space-tastic, says Commander Crush. And let's hurry so Donnie can get his best present ever. Me. The jingle bells jingle and the reindeer stomp their hooves. Santa's sleigh soars through a starry sky filled with snowflakes. And Doc McStuffins gets home just in the nick of time. Doc has a goodbye hug to give before she goes inside. I couldn't have saved Donnie's Christmas without you, Doc, Tobias says, or gotten to join the Jingle Bells. I'll always be watching over you on Christmas. The next morning, Donnie jumps on Doc's bed to wake her up. Santa came! He came! Donnie cheers. And I got the best present ever! Doc follows Donnie downstairs to celebrate with her family. I love my present, too, she tells the toys, holding up her ornament. There's one more present there for you, Doc, Hallie whispers. Doc opens up the box to find... The best present ever! It's her very own Jingle Bell elf toy. But how did Mom and Dad know? Then Doc reads the card on the box. Dear Doc, from one toy lover to another. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, Santa. If you liked our video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.